Okay, are we back yet? Are we back? Did we make it back? Did we make it back? Did we get back yet? We had an internet hiccup. My internet died and came back. Okay, we're back. Text this guy. that tech rep I'm trying to get my internet uh, switched over okay so You should be full now. You're not. And you're not filling it. Ah, you ran out of empty containers. I need more containers. Let's go get another load of containers and come back. Because I only had, I think, enough for one con one thing full. And I need a lot more empty containers than that. It's alright. We, we, we can fix this. But, uh, my internet trying to get it run from the back of the house instead of going to the ground in the front of the house and everything so strangely enough twitch still shows me with zero viewers so ah we jumped to nine Yeah, my internet having a little issue there. All right, let's go first off. Let's 
just store there. Wow. My mail just arrived, which I was thinking I wasn't having any mail today. Well, I'm here till your lunch break is over. Uh, yeah, there it the view thing is coming back up. You know. What probably happened is I probably had a few lurkers that uh, whenever it died like that, uh, since they're lurking, they got to refresh their browser before they're caught, before they're considered a viewer. And since they're lurking, it's not happening. That's all right. All right, so <laughs> I like lurkers, man. I like lurkers. I didn't want that many. I want that many. Lurkers are great. All right, so now we need to refill that thing with plastic again. Uh, so. See? Lurkers are great because, uh, and, and the thing about lurking, if you mute the stream, you don't count as a lurker. Uh, if you mute, mute the tab, you do. And whenever somebody comes into the game, they're looking for a game, and they search, say, satisfactory, and they see all the streamers, it like, depending on how you got it sorted, most people have it sorted top viewers, or it automatically does that. And, or a recommended will do your followers, then top viewers. And the more viewers you have, the higher up the list you are, the more often you are to get new viewers. So, lurkers come in handy. It's a mob mentality thing. Ooh, I got too many, but that's okay. We'll just throw them here. Okay, so now we've got... Now let's go back to Blue Crater. I'm trying my best not to interrupt my oil pipeline before I'm ready to start this. Now, which train is that? Okay, Exxon Valdez. And Petroleum Coke. That's two 
front circle, OPEC storage. So I need to know which the other one that comes in there. It might be the I can't think of a name. That's Exxon Valdez is going back, so. Any got any, anybody in a weird location? Where's the other train? There it is. I can't think of a name coming. I was pretty sure that was the name of the one. Oh, we're docking. That's right. I forgot. Stop coming down here. Why did you stop? Why is OPEC storage an invalid next stop? That makes absolute. It's been running back and forth between those two places the entire time, and now you're saying it's an invalid next stop. Yeah, you can't load up here anymore. So... I 
I'm taking you there manually. Because this does not make any sense. Well, yeah, I will have to delete the train. And I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to lose the oil, but screw it. I'm going to actually... I'm going to actually turn this one into the other train, which means, yeah, I'm going to lose the oil, but that's okay. Okay, so, electric locomotive here, and we'll go freight car, freight car. You will be, uh, Packaged Oil Express one. First place you're going is Blue Crater. And you're going to OPEC Storage. are going to OPEC storage. Why did you not pick up oil? And of course, Raz, you redeem you redeem marbles right when I'm in a time sensitive time. Man. Ah, that's the reason why you didn't. No stress? Okay. I got to get to the other area or I'm going to lose my factory, but we will get your marbles. I'm, I'm in the middle of swapping over from regular oil to packaged oil delivery system. And if I don't get to the other place and convert that over, my system may run dry. But while we're moving, I can start up the marbles. I can get that out of the way. But we will definitely get the marbles in. I'm starting it up right now. And once I convert that other station over, then uh, I need to let it run for a little bit. So marbles would be a good thing to do. kind of hoping that the other, I forgot about something, I'm kind of hoping that the other train carrying uh, oil still has an oil container on it when it comes back. Uh, where is it? Oh, 
Oh, it's right there. I've already passed it. We'll see when it comes back. Oh, the auto say I'm like, why did it stop right here? Come on, auto save. Come on, auto save. Let me move this train a little bit. How's the oil holding up? Out. Hey, you still got plenty. You still got plenty. But you are empty. So these guys are being emptied now, which is fine. Where is my... Okay, this is the Exxon Valdez. If it comes up with a tank, it gets to dock and drop off its oil. If it comes up with uh, a freight car, I have to stop it before it gets here. All right, we're, we're still a little ways off. that will be it and if it is that means it's got to stop there she comes that means I got to stop it Clarence, Clarence. Don't 
need the pump anymore, don't need that anymore. We're going straight up. This let's go ahead and well, I'm going to hold off. Well, I'm not going to worry. Let's just do. But I gotta, I gotta run this cable. I gotta run this, so. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right there. You connect there. All right, let's move you out of the way here. Just back you up. and see how this thing operates here. Oh crap. I screwed that up. That's okay. I screwed it up, but I can fix it with the next train that that I that I screwed up. This guy can empty out there. And then we'll be good. So even though I screwed up, I, I, I accidentally unscrewed up. Okay. Now... We have to wait, so it's marbles time. Let's go over here and wait. I know we've got empty containers over there, yep. Okay. Let's go marbles. There we go. I don't know why it took a little bit for it to show up, but that's all right. And that was a random track of marbles. Haunted hammer. We come up over here. Well, Raz, you are in the channel already. Let them know it's marbles. Well, I'll do it anyway, too. Never mind. Hey, marbles, marbles, marbles. We have marbles. Well, it depends. Was your was your? All right, done. All right.
let's get some marbles action going while we're waiting on the trains to do their stuff and see if they can keep the flow of Earl going. Look at that hammer down there at the end, at the exit. So, only seven. I guess, guess people don't want to play marbles in the uh, Discord, or they could be playing Among Us, which Lava just started. But they got about 20 seconds to get in before it's shut off. Jimbrin has the record today. Haven't seen him today, but. Bones with his flying saucer here, thinking it's going to help out. And we start off sliding down, heading toward the Plinko. Down, down, down the Plinko. Who's going to get to the bottom first? Looks like Raz is going to make it down first, headed up to the elevator. Going up the elevator and coming into the three-dimensional Plinko. Oh, Raz just dropped right down the edge. But he gets hung up a little bit. He still makes it down first. Doing a little wobble. He's headed off to the right. Secret Chief on the, on the left. Bones on the left. Into the counter turning funnel. With pegs. So Raz gets a nice stop there. Which could help him out. But he ended up getting a little loop around. So Mutant Bob is going to file straight on through. So, Mutant Bob on account of and Raz are coming down into the Pumpkin Smashers. Mutant Bob and account of just go around the pumpkins and into the corkscrew. Coming around into the curly queue into the funnel. Mutant Bob on account of Raz. Everybody is really ahead of the record ball, so there's a good chance the record's going to be broken this time. Mutant Bob and on account of are swirling down the drain. Mutant Bob comes out first, followed by account of. They run into Steve and stop. On account of comes out of Steve, bounces off the pumpkin, and now has a commanding lead going into the elevator. Going to make it into the second elevator before anybody else even makes it into the first. May even make it. It's actually going to make it out of the second elevator before anybody gets in. The only person that's even coming in close is the record holder going down the stairs on account of is set to make a great new record here. Won't beat the world record, but. Bouncing around, missing. Oh, smashes the pumpkin. It goes around it, though, into the double Steve and getting slapped around, holding it back, letting anybody have a chance of catching up. No, on account of his out, into the pegs of doom. Goes around the outside and comes through the pegs of doom. On account of has definitely got a good chance of breaking the record. It all depends on the hammer, the haunted hammer here. Oh, and we do have a slowdown here of the pumpkins. So on account of is coming through, coming into the pumpkins, through the pumpkins, it's the hammer time. Through the comb, mutant buff, all on account of new local record. Yeah, mutant Bob, you're not stuck on Steve. You fall off. You probably got thrown out by Steve. I'm stuck on the smashing pumpkin there. Will I make second place? Yes. 
And Secret Chief is gone. And there we go. On a count of three, six, beat the local record by a lot. Congratulations. Okay. Now, how's this guy doing? This guy's doing good. Which means this guy should be doing good. Which means these guys are going to keep going. How's this guy doing? Oh, I... Years of training for that win. Yes. Yes. I think this is actually going to work. Hundred percent efficiency. Seventy two percent efficiency. Why are you at seventy five percent efficiency? Eighty five percent efficiency. I guess you must have run out at one time. How we doing on the empty containers? Filling up nicely. Where is my... my train oh no okay there we go why are you still there Okay, you're moving. Ooh. Like, why are you not moving? I'm hoping that this doesn't run out. Uh, it, I mean, this is going to run out. But... Ooh, yeah, I might need. No. This is the big one. And this is still filled. This is. Long as this guy never runs out. So what I need to do is before this train gets here, figure out how much is there. Cause this guy's out. That's fine. Okay, here's the train. So the big question will be what is how much oil is in this guy when the train gets here and then we will we, we will take a mark of that and then we'll wait for the train to come back again and we'll see how much oil is there again and if there is 
more or the same, we're fine. Like to have more. Could probably do more if I increase the amount because I am move, pulling more than. Okay, packaged oil coming in. Chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a chug a chug. All right, here it comes. As soon as it starts docking, I will take a look and see how much Earl we got. All right, we've got, let's just call it, the, we'll, we'll count this one out. So two and four, uh, two, four and a half, but we'll just get two, you know, two rows and four full rows and and four full barrels in the next row and then the next thing we'll have to check because I was having to run two trains to get my 300 oil per minute. So now all we got to do, and if I could get by with only running one train this way, I could live with that. And I really like that the packet thing will have, I, I'm thinking that, I think it was the liquid on the top and the solid on the bottom, because then you'll be able to place a splitter Ah, you can't do it. I was hoping I could put one of these on top of it, but I'll just do this way. I have to do it that way. I was hoping you could place one of these on top of it. But no, it's not going to let you do that. It's going to be a little whiny. I wonder why we're waiting on this guy to show up. No. These things are all screwed up. my train there kind of liking that so far you should be empty again right no you're not even empty oh my goodness thinking this is going to work really good. I'll have to check the other side's output and make sure I'm not just filling up with residual stuff because I did start off early. 
but it's as far as the movement of it it looks like this is definitely an easier uh, a better way I need a glass of water because I'm my coffee is got dregs of coffee but I need to find I gotta wait for this train this train right here to get back before I can so I can know but I am pretty sure we're gonna have extra Earl we're gonna be increasing the oil which means this guy can go away So I make sure I get the right. Cause I will take this. I w Once I find out the numbers when the train gets back, when I go get my glass of water, I'll take this empty train here back down there to check the input down there make sure we're all still good okay you're finally empty what's up ice man I, I, what do you mean, not like this? Exactly like this. This is going to work out. All I got is as long as the input is keeping up. Actually. Gonna get there in time. We're not quite full, but we definitely have more here than we had last time. It's Wednesday. I'm not going to ask about your weekend. <laughs> no, wait till tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go get a glass of water. I will be right back. Of course, I did have a nice day with my parents yesterday. I did have uh, my dad we we ordered uh, carry out wings at Pizza Hut that's what he wanted all right and I ordered it on the app and then it says they'll be ready in about 14 minutes all right I look at my dad like you gonna go it says it takes less than 15 minutes to get there so I'll wait about five minutes like it'll be ready in 14 minutes so and he was like looking at me like I was crazy it's like I'm thinking if it takes just a little less than 14 minutes to get uh, 15 minutes to get there it's gonna be ready in 14 minutes shouldn't that you like, okay 
I don't need a calculator or anything. Family's most important. <laughs> see how how well this guy down here is producing the oil it should be making 300 oil per minute which seems that I can transport everything that it's making so as long as there was a surplus at one time it will be able to do it and be able to do it with one car But what I really need to know, know is how this is doing, which that's what 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 I, I worry about. After the auto save. After the auto save. How you doing there? I think I'm going to need to add a little bit more. Hundred percent. I'd like to overstock the empty containers. Okay, here's a problem. Of which I don't understand. Actually, I do understand it, I think. But... Yep, I understand it, but I can fix it, which the easiest way to fix it will be a buffer I'm gonna have to put a buffer. can delete that pipe do I have the buffer I have the buffer doesn't even have to be a big buffer it could be a small buffer pure So I want to run it off of this one. So let's take a buffer.
<laughs> I gotta <laughs> we're we're gonna fix this thing a little different. Other way. There we go. And now, pump. I'm going to put two. That should take care of the problem. Because, yeah, that was a kind of messed up shape. The problem was, pipe gets full, and the, uh, ex the, the, oil rig shuts down and then starts up again it shuts down and starts up again it shuts down and starts up again and every time it does that you lose a little bit putting a buffer on it should fix that problem I have to bleed these things in though. Okay, you're full. You're full. You're not full. So. Like, when this guy gets full, we'll go to standby and then go back over there and turn that one on. Okay. Stand by. Get you back into operation. And we'll do that with each one of these. Bleed them in down the line. And then once they're bled in, they stay bled in. But the fluids are finicky. They don't particularly like deadheading either sometimes. Which I've got this deadheaded. This one up. Which 
chug it, 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 chug it. But yeah, fluids can be a little finicky. But the packing thing seems to be working. Yes, the wheels in the bus go round and round unless you're in the cyber uh, cyber wagon, then they go square. Because hey, we got square wheels. Yep, you're ready to go. Turn you back on. And then this one. Oh, you're there already. So now we've got 50. So now we've got 100. Let's. Uh, we're not at 100% efficiency yet. But we will be. I don't know why it's saying 86. I don't know why it's staying at 86. That little buffer. The little buffer that could. <laughs> yeah, but now I want to know what's going on with Mr. 86. I think Mr. 86, no, Mr. 86 is over here. This is Mr. 86. Nope. Mr. 86 is back to 100. So we've got 100% efficiency on all of them now. This is... Now... Now we can start getting rid of some of this stuff. also means that this guy is going to change too. this I don't need that anymore what I'm gonna end up doing is transferring this below and then coming up here and going in right there But to do that, this is a splitter, right? I 
don't want to lose everything immediately. And I, oh, I don't think, I won't be able to put it on there like I want to. And I won't be able to, uh, I think I'll just leave that there, run it underneath, and bring it up underneath here. Or, about that'll work so the hell at 2 30 today my mail got delivered which is about two hours later than it ever does I just got another mail delivery Could be an interesting trip to the mailbox when I get off stream today. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So right here. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. But this will still work. Try this. And then you're not going to connect, right? No, oh, you did. I don't know why it went backwards there for a second, but we're, we should be good now. As soon as I get some containers, of which I'm going to take a couple of hundred. I can get rid of this and this. I would really like to have a few more of these though, but
I just had another mail delivery? What's going on with my mailbox? Where's my train? Here it comes. <laughs> Not well, only when it's opened and closed. Okay, my internet issues. My neighbor is going to be putting in a driveway over where my current cable is, is loaded. And, uh, this could be a problem. <laughs> but they're going to be moving mine to the back of the house. But they got to put a splitter in back there. And they haven't for months. But the thing is, my neighbor... Yeah... The thing, and like I said, my neighbor's going to be putting a driveway where they buried my cable. And so, I just looked out, when I looked out the, the door just then to see who was at my mailbox, I noticed a big pile of gravel where he's going to be putting the driveway, which is right over where my internet is buried. So, if they don't, and uh, uh, the tech rep told me just now, uh, I got it turned over to the soup. He should be getting a bucket down there pretty fast to get it cut in so we can move the line. Which is good, because if they don't, I could lose internet. Which, as Giles so eloquently put it, would suck. But, while this takes a lot of plastic to set up, it's a, it's a one-time investment that you do three or four times to get that one-time investment. But it seems to be working. All I need now, I have, to, I've got to check the outputs here on both of these. So, mine went out a few weeks back. Had to replace my cable modem. Now my internet's even faster. Yeah. Uh. My internet, I get 200 down, 10 up. Now, I'm getting close to the to the, my promotional ending, and when, but, but before my price goes up, I'm going to convert over to 400 down, 
twenty up and can keep my regular price and and and, and pay an extra ten dollars a month for the next year. So, and then after that, I may drop back down. You know what I mean? But instead of my price going up twenty dollars a month. It'll only go up ten dollars a month, and I'll double my internet. But I need this new line first. That's that's my plan. So, new plan here for this oil is we got to wait for. Wherever he is. <laughs> there he is. Got to wait for this guy to get back. Now when this guy gets back. We'll make a note of how much oil there is here. We'll run over and make a note of how much oil. How many containers there are over there. And then we'll have to wait for another run. To check it out again to find out whether or not it's keeping up should be should be good I mean I'm making 300 per minute I'm using 300 per minute and the train can carry more than that so it should balance out A lot better than uh, the train uh, with fluid because I had to have two train cars going with fluid to keep it up. So... But this right here is letting me know that I'm going to need, instead of seven freight uh, fluid stations, I'm going to need 14 freight stations, which is going to make a, a long train. Because we're going to have to have the engine, 14, and then a couple of engines probably. All right, we've got two, two and four and thirty-nine. Two, four and thirty-nine, one, four and thirty-nine. Okay, that's easy to remember. Two, four, thirty-nine, one, four, thirty-nine. Two, four, thirty-nine, one, four. 39 and now we just have to see what happens when it comes back might need to pad this thing up a little more but I got them being I got them being made just in case that comes up, which means I'm gonna have to start making more containers. Of course, this guy should be filling up because it's doing double. Yeah. All right, well, while that guy's gone, let's check the efficiency ratings again. 100. 100 full. 100 full. Good. 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 Good.
Okay. That little buffer fixes everything. So while we wait for the train, I have to fix this. And the old auto save strikes. <laughs> I'm really interested in what's going on at my mailbox, though. And it could be nothing more than, yeah, like I said, campaign people coming in, sticking things in my mailbox. If they are, they should be shot. But only with rock salt. back up the top at the other area oh well all right where's the train okay it's coming back Let's see. Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll be sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, well, twenty times one hundred. Uh, what is twenty times one hundred? <laughs> last for a little while. No. It's somewhere in this group. I don't know if we'll get back to the 2, 4, and 39, but we should be kind of close. Whatever it is, I'll mark it down. I'll go get more containers. Unless it's actually more. Here comes the train. Okay, we got two, four. And 
37. That's pretty much. We have 2, 3, and 89. So, 2, 4, 37. Well, excuse me, 1, 3, and 89. So, one pretty much almost exactly the same, one just a little different. We'll go back to base, pick up another load of pick up some more con empty containers because I got them made and then come back and check it again when the next train comes in but 2439 2437 that's pretty much the same I mean it's you know Two barrels of oil different. There's nothing to scream about. But it definitely looks like I'm going to be building 14 freight station at my oil train station. And I'm going to need a whole lot of empty containers. Stop. Hey, Blue Squid, how you doing? How's life? Oh, it's Quintropy with the raid. How you doing? Doing Gwen. Oop, wrong one. Oh, that's okay. I gotta come over here. How's life in Gwen world? I got. I. When we raided you, you were in the middle of uh, a speed run. While I am not in a speed run, I am in a time critical junction here. So, give me just a moment to get this thrown in and then I will got a pretty good speed run time what was your speed run time all right now blue crater oil here we come oh wait 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 turn on the all pot okay Forty thirty, nice. I don't do speed runs. I'm just I'm too too chill for that. Uh, Raz, thank you very much for gifting Gwen and Blue Squid a sub. Thank you very much. Uh, this is my base here, by the way. 
Uh, can't see a lot of it right now, but you, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you in a minute. I just got to go check what's going on because with the new, with the new uh, fabricator for packing stuff that is coming out. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll be able to see the glass. But with a new packet mod that's coming out, I've decided to make a little change of stuff. Thank you, Rick. Uh, I've been moving 300 oil from here, from, from here, all the way up here for more plastic. And I had it going fine with the flow regulator, had it all good and everything. But I wanted to see, because of something else I'm going to be doing next. Rick, just subscribe. Thank you very much, Rick. Oh, no, wait a minute. That wasn't Rick. That was Raz giving Rick. The ah, uh, yeah, it's the thing. My, my alerts are kind of messed up. But thank you, Raz, again. That's three. Just boom. Raz. You're awesome. Ooh. Ooh. Autopilot off. But I've decided to try and make a... Uh, what's going on here? Okay. I, I've decided to do a container. Packaging things in the... In, uh, in the containers and then sending them on. So that's what I've done here. I've taken my oil. I went ahead and I put 10 refineries and packaged them. Okay, here it is. What we got here? Yes, we have more here. And we have less here, but okay. <laughs> so, it is working. I, I am successfully uh, moving packaged oil better than oil via train. So, let's go ahead. Raz, my goodness. Raz is going crazy with the gift subs. Thank you very much, Raz. Let's go ahead and throw all these guys in here. The other one I'm going to throw in, I'm going to do the cheap way. I'm going to let the train do it. But no, actually, I won't be able to do that. Because I'm going to run out of room. So let me, let me empty these things out. And then I'll go, uh, and I'll show you my turbo fuel place I got going here. And then I'll go show you my base. Actually, why am I running all the way over there when I can just come running right over here? Okay. my turbo fuel all right this is turbo fuel central all right i decided to do a vertical turbo fuel build because i am crazy i have six sets of buildings that are identical All right, now you've got this building right here. Well, actually, let me take you over this way. All right, you got all these buildings too. But if we come over to the far end over here, I have a demonstration model. Because I built glass. <laughs> glass windows. Alright. You have 
three refineries taking crude oil and turning it into heavy residual oil. Then you have four refineries. Hey, that one's not painted blue. Eh. You have four refineries making taking water and turning it into packaged water. All right, which you can see the water is coming this way underneath my train tracks. Then you've got a set of refineries taking the heavy residual oil and packaged water and turning it into diluted fuel going into another set of refineries that are unpacking the fuel now and then they're taking the empty containers and sending them back to be packaged with water again so it is a complete loop of using the same containers empty containers over and over and over again and then here you've got side-by-side -side refineries turning the fuel into turbo fuel via compacted coal and they are all going down to turbo generators and yes Yes, you can jump through the belt wall. Uh, I do it all the time. Uh, what you well, you have to. If you just try to jump, it doesn't work. But if you do a, if you crouch, you can jump through when you crouch. But you got to crouch. That's the secret. Crouching. Now, when they come up with the new. Uh, fabricators for packing things I'll I'll go in through and change all this stuff I've got spare turbo fuel for when it happens so I can you know turn it on change things put it back so I don't have to worry about loss of power all right this Okay, here's where I'm getting my water. My water comes up and goes underneath my train tracks all the way up that way. Yes, it will still work. Uh, the refineries that are doing package stuff will still do the package stuff. Although if you delete the refinery and put it back or you put a new refinery, you won't be able to do it. I'm going to go ahead and change the stuff out, but I'm going to do it piecemeal. That way I don't have a trouble. But I built this as a backup just in case long before they did that. I am a big fan of P to the seventh power. P to the seventh power is prior proper planning prevents piss poor performance. So plan ahead. Now, the thing is, these first four buildings are all running off geothermal. I'm running my first four turbo fuel off of geothermal, so even if I trip my breaker on something else, I'll still be fine. You got to adopt that thing. Now my main grid is here. Almost 40,000. It's not counting my nuclear build. Now let's go take a look at my base. Delete, get out, get back in.
You can see I have a couple of generators. Couple. But yeah, that was my vertical turbo fuel. Just because I decided to do it differently. <laughs> Plus, it allowed me to do a lot more there. Oh, by the way, uh, let's see, I am using... Five hundred and forty oil. Those six turbo fuel factories are using five hundred and forty oil. That's it. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, wait till you see my nuclear. Okay, this is my base. All right, I do what I call, I have called, coined the phrase, a warehouse build. Okay? Uh, everything that I produce goes into a warehouse. All right? This right here is my auto sorter. Anything I put in here gets sorted through here. Things that I normally carry go over here. All production line items go this way. Ignore the factory cart. It's just a little crazy thing. Okay. Each warehouse is a double stacked industrial container. Outputs from the warehouse go down to the second floor. Inputs from the warehouse, or to the warehouse, come from the third floor. Every one of my production buildings is a nine, is an eight by eight building. I chose eight by eight because that's the smallest building you can put six manufacturers in. This guy is making Iron rods, I don't need a lot of those, so some of them are on standby. This building is making copper sheets, which you need a lot of, so not only are all they, they all working, but I added a second floor. All right. Down here, you can see everything coming out of storage. It goes to whatever building is ne it's needed and goes up into the building. Say like right there, you got copper ingots going up into this building. All right. I use stack poles going one direction, conveyor poles going the other direction. That way I don't have spaghetti. I do it in layers, so I say I have lasagna. My outputs, you can see, come down here to the third floor. And they head off this way, going back up in, and they'll go into storage. Now here, this belt right here, that auto sorter that I had up top, anything that I put in the auto sorter that goes back into the production line will come back this way. So if I had thrown some of these guys in, they would have come here and then come in this way. And then when I get to here, this is the overflow for the sink. So, <laughs> yes, Paul, it's the same speech every time I give. Every time I give it. This whole thing right over here is overflow to make extra uh, 
space elevator parts. <laughs> ah. Well, I spent 22 years in the Navy in the engineering field, so, although the last part of it I was flying a hovercraft. All right, on top of my warehouse, you can see I have a turnstile to let you know what's there, a conveyor belt to take you down. If you need to grab a whole bunch of stuff, you can come here. If you need to grab a few, you can come down here. It feels like a step down. I really enjoyed the hovercraft, but hey, I spent 22 years in. I was ready to go. Now, my entire base. Ah, good. Perfect. Let's come up here. I built my base up here. You can see. You can see the turbo fuel over there. Over there, you can see where I build ingots. But here comes the giant moth who I have named Steve. All right, let's wait for him to catch the right spot. Ah, I got caught on the ceiling. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But I built that up like that so Steve could fly through. So it, it, the, the wing flaps of Steve are not in the same place every time he flies through. Sometimes you get your head caught. All right, but now let's go. Let's go take a look at my nuclear production. Well, like I said, he'll flap his wings, I, and I think they. Well, they'll, they'll, I think the wing flaps are hard coated, but they're not hard coated to where he is. And so, depending on where, he is, so the thing is, they will change over the course of his flight because they're not sequenced to location, they're sequenced to time. Make sure, yep, we have. Now let's go to my little nuclear power plant. Bedding all your stuff beneath the ground floor makes that complex look really cool. So, yeah. Uh, I, I like having my inputs and my outputs on separate floors. Yes, Three Mile Island. That. Is, well, there is a reason for it to be called Three Mile Island other than the fact that it is nuclear. Well, my first nuclear power plant in Update 2, I called it Chernobyl. And it was built down here in this void. I went down to the void. I went all the way down to the bottom of the void, concreted it, Filled it full of containers, 2,033 containers. And then on top of that, built the uh, nuclear fuel rod processing plant. And then above that, I had three levels of nuclear power plants. But 
you will see the reason why I named this nuclear power station Three Mile Island when we get there. It will make sense. My railway is transcontinental. It circles the map and then bisects the map. Actually, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to go get a glass of water while the train is moving. I don't want you to see the nuclear power plant while it's coming, but I'm going to fill my water glass up real quick here. Uh, and this way, by having the camera pointing straight down, you won't get a glimpse of the nuclear power plant until I get out of the train. Because, hey... Surprise is great, right? And I need water. Water is life. And unfortunately, it's I I, I cut myself off from coffee after 3 p.m. Otherwise, I'd just drink coffee all day. <laughs> but I did spend 22 years in the Navy, so that is nice and understandable that I am addicted to coffee. Okay, let's see. Over there is the input for nuke for uranium pellets come in right there. Now we will look down again. Radiation levels going up. All right, now we will get out of the station here. Let's put the radiation suit on. We'll come over here, and now you can see the purpose of me calling. Actually, I'd come over here and do it. Let me put this jetpack back on. The purpose of me calling it Three Mile Island My nuclear power plants <laughs> Ah and we we have we have a marbles redemption So, how many of y'all have ever played Marbles on stream? Hey, we're at a good time to do this, Roz. Raz. That is not a problem. We are going to play a game of marbles. Is this the marbles thing Snoot and Jace did a few weeks ago? Probably. If they've done it, this is Marbles on stream. Now... We're playing arcade marbles. This is a little different. This is a... And he wanted straight. So. Exclamation point play if you would like to get on this. And give me just a second to jump into the Discord here. Uh, we have marbles. We have marbles. We have an imposter. Uh, we have marbles. He's an imposter among us. He's not playing the game. <laughs> I had to jump in into the Satisfaction Labs Discord. Matter of fact, since you're all here, I'll go ahead and give a plug for the Satisfaction Labs Discord also, which is here. Uh, it's a great group of guys and girls who really like this game. There's usually somebody always in chat. They may not be playing Satisfactory at the time, 
but they're in there doing something, and there's a lot of knowledge about the game in it, too. So feel free to join that Discord and have a good time. Okay, this is Boost Marbles, which is a little different from the normal marbles. In this, if you type exclamation point boost followed by the numbers 1 through 650, you will increase the speed of your marble. Two things, though. One, don't do it at the very beginning. you got to go through the funnel, and if, you go too, and if you're going fast at the beginning, it'll take you longer to get down the funnel. Two, don't do it too far, or you'll go over the edge. Those are the only two warnings I'm going to give you about it. But uh, exclamation point play to get in on the marbles, and exclamation point boost, 1 through 650. Pick the number. The, the higher the number, the faster you'll boost. But... Okay, there we go. Off and running. I would not be boosting right now. You want to boost after the funnel. I think Bones may be the first one down. Round and around and around the funnel. Bones looks like he's going to be coming down first. Normally I follow along really good, but uh, this is this is boost marbles. I want to give as many people as I can a chance to see, which uh, Bones is already out there, so I can't really show him anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. So here we go. I do believe Bones shot over. Gwen is off also. Secret Chief might have a little problem there. Might slow down enough, but I think you may go over the edge. Yep, you did. So it looks like Blue Squid. Rick may actually catch Blue. I don't know. Blue. I think Blue's going to make it. Blue's going to win it. Followed by Rick. I guess that's dip one. Yeah, Bones shot out too much. Well, I'm pretty sure that one boost put you out, you know, when you boosted. Did you boost any more after that? Because I couldn't really just show you. I had to show everybody, so... And that was marbles. But now let's come over here and give you a good view. One of these days I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to build a hyper tube for this. I always boost twice. Well, on that one, if you boosted twice, you were done. Alright. Uh, we have a hazard area here. And now we can put the jetpack back on. And we have the nuclear power plants. Yes, fully vanilla. I do not do mods. Not only is it fully vanilla, every single piece of machinery, concrete, piping, belts, whatever, I have only placed live on stream. Uh, 
I make no changes to this save file unless I'm streaming it. Whoa, I missed it. Well, Three Mile Island was the only name I could come up with that really fit it as far as nuclear power plants go, you know? And waste... is sent here. There's where all the waste is. Which is actually off the map. That area is totally off the map. You go out there, not only do you start taking radiation damage, you start taking damage if you cross that concrete barrier right there. So, I put it out there. Don't have a lot yet, but... And let's see here. Well, as soon as I can, maybe this, one of these, this check. there you go. The first seven are not in the circuit. All right, the first seven are set up to power up my uranium uh, processing and my water for all of them. The rest of them are right here. Does the nuclear waste, does the effect of nuclear waste summarize or one and 100 will have the same? Uh, the more you have in one spot, the worse it gets up until it saturates. There's a saturation for it where it gets as much as it's going to do. But more nuclear waste in one spot will be worse, which is why my nuclear waste is daisy chained to keep it running through the entire thing so it doesn't collect in one spot. If you just let it sit in one spot, it gets really bad quick. Now, before we go back, it's a good thing to put on this or you get really screwed. <laughs> Yeah, back before they had the nuclear uh, options and everything, we had uranium in the in the world, but we didn't have any use for it back in update one. And while waiting for update two, I decided I was going to get all resources coming to my base. The last one that I did was uranium. And I uh,
the node itself oh it was radioactive I did not know this it didn't have anything on top of it you know like some of the things you have to beat up so I put a miner on it ran the belt out without ever getting close to it ran the belt ran power all the way back to my base and then had a container there I stood on top of the container and connected the power and waited I'm waiting for it to come so I can see it coming I want to see this uranium coming and just before it gets there the radiation thing starts going up and I start taking damage and I'm like oh shit <laughs> One hundred and fifty five. One shy of what I can use. I, 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 I left one off so I could sink stuff if I ever used the entire stuff. But, uh,. Stop the belt, okay? I, I turned the power off, and, and, and I stopped the belt, and then I started dying after I was in it because I had the uranium on me, so I deleted it. And I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? And then I finally got the idea. What I did was uh, I turned off the power to the, the miner, put the belt back on, and let all the uranium come into that container, Staying out of it, I ran another belt away to another area and built a container there and let it fill up. And then I filled my inventory with crap. I actually just opened up, I had some uh, copper and filled my entire, you know, split it out until it was completely full. Then deleted that container and it put it in a box of shame. And at that time, Boxes of Shame didn't uh, produce radioactivity if there was something radioactive in it. I don't know if they still do or not now. I haven't tried it. But then I got to walk up to it and delete everything at once. And that's how I got rid uh, oh, of all of my uranium that I inadvertently brought to my base. I can a bit bait. All right, boxes of shame emit radiation. Well, it's good to know. They used to not. They used to, you know. Now, this whole area right here is being fed piecemeal by different things. I have, well, we'll go take a look. Let's go to Not silica. Where is it? Ah, here we go. One of the important parts of any time you get in a train. You have to honk the horn or you'll never get that too. How do you like my bridge?
My n I built my bridge. I put stanchions everywhere. Water was too deep, I couldn't reach the bottom, so I did an output. <laughs> this is where I... My caterium, uh, not caterium, my sulfur, my copper, ingots, uh, actually, yeah, uh, uh, sure, actually, I can do more than that. Now, do you want oil process? You want oil processing for rubber and plastic, right? Not for oil, not for fuel. Uh, let's go to Dupont Circle. Let's turn the autopilot on. That helps. Shorted the toot. I use alternate turbo fuel recipe. I don't know what's the efficient way to produce plastic or rubber. All right. Uh, I use the diluted uh fuel before you know to make my turbo fuel so you get double the amount of fuel now, I don't know which direction we're gonna go whether we're gonna go straight or turn we're turning I would never Okay, pro tip here. Never use residual products to make a required item if you need that require if that required item you've got to have a certain amount. You'll 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 screw yourself over, especially if it's fuel because your fuel will only be used depending on how much power you're burning. All right, so I do take, when I'm making my turbo fuel, I take their polymer and I turn it into residual plastic. That is just to augment the amount of plastic that I'm making in other places. Because if you're trying to use your residual fuel, your uh, residual uh, materials for the plastic, you're going to come up short if you're using it uh if you're using your fuel for your generators because the generator lists how much fuel it's going to use if it's at 100% capacity. If it's not 100% capacity, it doesn't use that much. Now, are we going to turn or go straight? Going straight. That means we'll be able to go right past my base. I was, I needed more plastic and rubber. Well, I've got plastic and rubber being produced in one area and I've used all the oil in that, 
in that spot for that and I needed 300 more I was bringing 300 oil in via train doing liquid transport and that's problematic I found a way to fix it hey fix it yeah to make it work but today I actually changed it over to packaged oil which is a better way of doing it especially since they're bringing in this new fabricator the packet mark one this area off to the left here is my ingot producers I make all of my ingot and concrete here was it hard in the beginning to understand how to build effective uh, effectively uh, I didn't uh, it's the game itself bring starts you slowly one of the things that I say this game is you in this game you build tear down build it bigger tear down build bigger tear down build bigger rinse and repeat as necessary okay here we've got my plastic and rubber production this will be plastic I've got 10 of them using 300 oil with the heavy oil going here and making coke all right and the coke is it, I, 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 yeah, petroleum coke. I make petroleum coke for two reasons. One, I can use the petroleum coke over there to make aluminum, or I can sink it. And I'm also using some to make steel. And before I had fuel, I I was burning some for extra power at one time. It's here I've got 300 oil making rubber, and the output is the same. You take the heavy residual oil, and I'm turning it into coke. I got another 300 oil making plastic. more making rubber now this one is a little different this one I have 300 oil some of it is making rubber some of it is making plastic alright they all go out the same belt but I got a program I, I, I got a smart splitter splitting them and this way if I ever like need to change up how much plastic or uh, rubber I'm doing I can always make the adjustment and if I start the adjustment on this line I can change like change one over to plastic or rubber or whatever doesn't matter they're all going to get sorted into the right area now I just built this monstrosity right here which is my packaged fuel by pa my packaged oil 
So I'm I'm packing uh, so you don't use heavy oil residue to produce turbo fuel. I do, just not here. My turbo fuel is being produced in the blue crater, and I'm taking the heavy residual oil and with packaged water turning it into and then uh, turning into the diluted packaged fuel and then unpacking the fuel and then making turbo fuel but that is in another location here is plastic rubber and this I'm bringing in packaged oil here and now the packaged oil comes in comes out goes into here gets unpacked and goes in to those guys over there which these should still be f yeah they're doing good yeah we're good so it's actually better if you're transporting oil over a long way it's better to package it and then send it and then unpackage it and you only need half the refineries to unpack it or whenever we get our new packet mark one we'll be able to use that I've got my petroleum coke that I make over some on some of my petroleum coke like I said is going down here and that's being used to make steel down well let's let's go down there let's go get the other that that the train I was using I sink anything that I'm not using overflow I'm only making 4.4 .4 million points per minute now, the only thing I ever paint are pipes and stuff like and things that use the the, the fluids the other stuff I haven't painted at all <laughs> All right. First things first. Let's let's get rid of that and get rid of that. And then get rid of that. And then get come back. Let's take autopilot on. Let's go to steel factory, not steel factory. All right, I have. I think it's closer to two. Th I love the way you use color. Uh, oh, oil is different. I was thinking of fuel. Yeah, yeah for fluids, it's really useful. Ah! But this area right over here is my off-site ingot producers. This is where I make all my steel, copper, iron, concrete. And like I said, these guys over here are making, but they're using some of the petroleum coke that I've got a whole crap load of with iron to produce steel because, hey, you can about put 100 a minute. Hey, Colonel Wolf. Let's 
So. And. See, these guys are making what? These guys are making Caterium. You just read Eyes Navy? Yep. And the Navy just celebrated its 245th birthday yesterday. <laughs> Please tell me of your sea tales. Well, I... My GPA. Thank you for the lurk there, Blue. I only spent... A Colonel Wolf, I only spent 22 years in the Navy, so I don't have very many sea tails. <laughs> All right, what I do with my train? I lost my train. Caterium, so it's back this way. Ah, there we go. There's my train. But, uh, yeah, this is where I produce all that. I am one of the few people you will ever find who retired out of the Navy after 22 years and do not have a single tattoo. Now, my next project, we'll go take a look at where it's going to be. Hey, Grandpa tried to hide his. Uh, let's see. Northeast inbound. Uh. <laughs> Hey, repeat, respawn. How you doing? My next project, one, the reason why I did my test today of packaged oil better than uh, uh, crap. We're going the wrong way because of the train track. We got we we got stuck. Uh, yes, the train uh, the uh, game has come a long way, but uh, I think I'm going to be following this train for a little while unless I do something. Let's see what train am I? Yeah. Copper ingots. Okay. Uh my next thing I'm going to be building is a supercomputer factory. And the supercomputer factory is going to need seven trains of 300 oil per minute. So, I decided to try and find out if packaged oil was better than carrying it in fluid cars and it is so my next build which I'll actually be starting tomorrow now that this experiment is done and successful will be me getting the oil first because I'm going to do this build a little differently I'm going to get all of my resources moving 
into the location where I need it and then build the manufacturer's warehouse style. So I'll start with, you know, I'm going to get the oil all there. I'm going to get everything else there and get them into containers and ready to go. And then lay down the fabricators and have them start making things and putting into containers. And then go to the next stage and the next stage all the way up to the supercomputers. Building it up floor by floor. It's the plan. Subject to change at times. You never know. Things go crazy but yes but I will show you where I'm going to be doing it now my since I just I was planning on having a train with seven cars bringing in the oil. Now it's going to be a train with 14 cars because each oil stop is also going to have to have a return empty container slot. So, yay! We're gonna, we're gonna make it fun. And then, right when I get to doing all that, they're gonna come up with the new packet. Now I have to go back and change out the refineries into packets. That's okay. I don't mind. Don't mind at all. This is the area where I'm going to build. And you can see I started part of it. But I'm going to have to change it a little bit because I only made it big enough for uh, that area. I know you don't have to change the refineries to packets. I'm going to anyway. This area right here that that is where my train stations are going to be bringing it in I said uh, you know I was doing it this when I realized I needed more power and because I needed more power I had to I had to take a break and go increase my turbo fuel but this is the area that I'm going to build my supercomputer factory once I get all the resources in. Uh, let's see. Let's go here. What? Okay. This makes absolutely no sense. Did I cut something off by accident? I did! 
I did. I didn't put that straight through yet. Oh, me. Uh, I, let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay. Now let's try. That'll work. Couldn't believe I, I was like, oh, why is it not working? But yeah, that's uh, that tomorrow we're going to start the bringing in. I'm going to start the refinery, not the refineries, the oil rigs with packing the fuel, the oil, and start sending and, and building it to send it back here. And then I'm going to work the other stuff. I've got it all worked out over here. This is what I need. Uh, the amount of oil I'm going to need is 2,070 crude oil. So, I work with spreadsheets. I make my spreadsheet. I build it via spreadsheet. Uh, so, I'm going to need this much quartz, this much cuterium, copper, you know. I build my own spreadsheets. I'm, I'm, I'm a little spreadsheeter. Spreadsheets make this game easier. And now we're back where the whole tour started at my turbo fuel. This is where my turbo fuel is made. I know the other guy was asking about my oil use and stuff. This is turbo fuel. Vertical turbo fuel. Heavy oil, packaged water, diluted packaged fuel, unpacking the fuel, and turbo fuel. I've got six of these tower setups. And a whole bunch of generators down there. And all color coded because it's piping and liquids. <laughs> Now uh, let's delete this and head back to base. And the thing is, like that, I've got six uh, setups for turbo fuel. Two thirds of them are powered by geothermal. Four of the six towers are off the main grid and powered by geothermal. 
that way. Uh, 627 hours. <laughs> And my base. And here's home. Here's home. Little place I call home. And that will do it for me today. But that also means it's raid time. We always end in a raid unless something weird comes up, that is. I'm going to check my, follow, my, my, my raid channel thing and nobody's playing stuff satisfactory on it so that means we get to pick a raider so let's see ah not a problem not a problem we need to raid somebody let's see let's see if we can find somebody to raid uh, I, I want to make sure somebody is there Not a problem, Razin. Thank you for all those gift subs, too. But I'll be thanking you again here in a second. Uh, well, we got somebody. Let, let, me, let, let me check here. Mute that thing just to see. Oh, yes. Now, they're actually here. So, all right, we're going to raid somebody here. Somebody who doesn't have affiliate yet. I found somebody that doesn't have affiliate yet. So, we'll see if they're actually around too. You never know. They're listed at zero viewers and less than 30 followers, so they should enjoy a raid. Tomorrow, we'll be starting off again and doing the actual work. I'd like to thank Raz for gifting uh, for the biddies and for gifting Lacerath, Rick, Blue Squid, and Gwen uh, subs. Uh, Gwen for the raid and the Stormbringer for the follow. Much appreciated. Really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, I'll be back again tomorrow to continue this build. Until then, let's, let's see what 1234 is actually got going on and see if they know what they're doing. <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful local time period and I will see you all again next time.